Hey guys, we're here for another Smash Unbox, okay? Now, this is for Asus laptop users, and uh, what you can see on your screen is a screenshot of the My Asus application showing that my battery and my display adapter has issues, right? So that's kind of alarming. So let's see what happened here. So you go to My Asus and Hardware Diagnostics, right? And then you run the entire um, hardware diagnostic by clicking the checkup on your upper right hand corner you can see there so this will run for a couple of I think this would have run for like three four minutes um, first one you could see there is uh, so the top percentage is actually for the rest of the test okay so we have display adapters battery Wi-Fi Bluetooth hard disk uh, and even uh, memory is being tested here okay so we're at 32 percent you could see that we're 100 percent already on the first test and this is all available guys uh, on our asus uh, tough uh, tuf laptops um, you can find it just do a search my asus and then uh, once you launch the screen you just need to go to system diagnostics or um, yeah diag yeah diagnostics so okay we have two 100 percent there all right uh, wi-fi bluetooth hard disk drive and battery right you know one one of our fellow smasher actually asked me to do a test here and uh, i think what's missing here is the the fan right there is no uh, test um, allocation for the fans okay so I might need to check the version of my uh, my Asus diagnostics or the application and see if this is something that needs to be updated or something to that effect okay so while you're watching this you can perform this but just make sure that You've closed all other applications running in the background. Of course, you know, not, not all applications, but any Internet Explorer or anything that you have running in the background that you can close. Um, just feel free to save them, but I suggest you close them so you get the maximum, um, I would say, performance while you're doing the hardware diagnostic in our Asus laptop. Okay, we're almost there. Let's see. All right, so hard disk testing, which I think is good, guys, because uh, this is kind of self-service from that perspective. So if you have any issues, um, then you'll be prompted with, uh, um, I would say, the result here. Um, obviously, this is a video already, so I know the results. Um, but you're going to see what I'm talking about on how to basically do diagnostics within your asus my asus um, application okay we're almost there 70 percent so it seems like we've run this for it's been three minutes now okay so most likely we're gonna hit about four minutes to complete the entire hardware diagnostic and uh 73 percent okay I know with Windows there is uh, this space or this uh, uh, the fragmenter. Maybe that's also one way of doing it. But uh, since the ASUS comes with its own self-diagnostics, you might as well just make use of that. Okay, so we're at 75% here. Uh, we're reaching the four-minute mark. All right, so it means to say that running this would take probably between four to six minutes. All right, 77%. Um, I think the longest diagnostic among the hardware list is the hard disk drive testing, right? Uh, the fact that our Asus uh, TAF has two hard drives, the SSD and the um, HD drives, and obviously it depends on how big uh, your storage drives are, okay? So we're at 80%, which is good. Um, still no issues so far that we're seeing here, but, uh, might be too early to say. Okay. All right. 
the disk drive is not yet done so guys this is very safe you know even though you have a new laptop just run your my asus and do diagnostics right it's actually my first video to create but it seems like we're gonna have maybe part one part two part three of this video so we can somehow understand how we should make use of it so it's done um you could see in the screen we do have it does say some issues here you see that there's a x red mark on the right hand side and it's under adapter and battery okay it's like okay what does it mean you know uh, it may have some battery problem or display adapter problem okay so you know that that is kind of worrying to me i was checking the other tests here so you can specifically just test the battery so i i tried to do that um, then one thing I remember is that I have set up our battery or my battery to uh, 60%. You know, it's like a maximum performance in terms of the life cycle, right? So what I thought was, you know, wh why not go back to 100% capacity in terms of charging? Maybe that's the reason behind it. Um, I had the battery set up that way almost, uh, almost from the start, okay? So that might have one factor why is it giving me um like a x or repair finding on diagnostics okay so you may want to check that out uh, that is one second is um, not a battery concern but for your display adapters make sure you have installed the latest drivers uh, available in the market and you can find it here as well on software updates okay so i did a test again and it failed it's like okay i just want to be sure that this is something um it's you know it's, it's not an accident it is really showing that it's failing okay you could see here it's on a maximum um, mode so i'm changing it to full capacity mode the battery settings and i want to run it again and see if that actually make any difference at all okay so i'm gonna do the diagnostic test um, uncheck that and keep the battery do a battery check let's wait here and unfortunately it's not okay it still says there there might be a problem with battery so I, I will do a part two guys because i'm doing some testing like keeping it at 100 percent and see if that affects it okay so for the meantime guys uh, please stay safe wait for the next video and uh, for those who have the same issue or problem, please share with the space here and please um, tune in. Thank you so much. This is another Smash Unbox.